shuttle and expression vectors shuttle vectors are those vectors that can replicate in two or even uh, more unrelated organisms so because of this reason they are called as shuttle vectors kyunki in mein ye ability hoti hai ki ye do ya do se zyada host organism jo ke aapas mein relate nahi karte that are totally unrelated un mein bhi ye replicate kar sakte hain misal ke taur pe bahut sare shuttle vectors aise hain jo ke use kiye ja sakte hain uh, for uh, escherichia coli or bacillus subtilis ke liye isi tarah se e coli ya yeast ke liye ya e coli ya mammalian cells mein ye replicate kar sakte hain so because they can uh, replicate uh, uh, between different unrelated host organism so they are called as uh, shuttle vectors shuttle vectors for example if we are using them for escherichia coli or the yeast then there are certain limitations one limitation is that origin of replication of bacteria or the bacterial plasmid it will not work when the plasmid it will be used to transform yeast so this problem can be overcome by the use of an another origin of replication uh, from the yeast so such shuttle vectors they contain two origin of replication one from the bacteria and other from the yeast another additional segment that is added within the shuttle vector especially when we are going to use them with the yeast is centromeres because centromere it is required for the binding of uh, we can say that uh, mitotic apparatus during the process of cell division so it is very important for the division of uh, dna so uh, centromere it is an uh, additional portion that is required another problem for using shuttle vectors for yeast is that the selectable markers that are used for the selection uh, for bacterial host they will not work with the yeast misal ke taur pe jo agar hum antibiotic use kar rahe hain as a selectable markers to ho sakta hai ki ye antibiotics to selectable marker marker ke taur pe act kare bacteria ke liye lekin yeast mein ye uh, differently behave karengi so such antibiotics uh, selectable markers they will not work uh, for yeast because antibiotic mechanism may be different between prokaryotic nature of microbes are the eukaryotes so slight differences are there so that uh, the antibiotics that are acting on one host it may be ineffective for another host so because of this reason the selectable markers of antibiotics for uh, bacteria they will not work for the yeast for this reason another selectable markers for the yeast like uh, the synthesis of uracil pyrimidine purines or other amino acids they have been uh, used for uh, the shuttle vector that are used between e coli and the yeast this diagram indicated the genetic map of shuttle vector that is used for yeast as i told you that it contain two region of replication one for the bacteria and the other from the yeast and then ampicillin resistance gene it is also there centromere that play role in the replication of the dna and polylinker cloning site where foreign dna can be inserted and then then some selectable marker for the yeast uh, they can also be there and then some termination point for the transcription they have also been incorporated and of course promoters for the transcription of different genes and this arrow indicates the direction of transcription on the other hand expression vectors are those vector where the expression of the cloned gene it can be controlled because when foreign dna or the foreign gene it has been inserted sometime it will not express or it will express poorly so 
the use of expression vector will provide advantage to the experimenter uh, to control the expression of the control uh, cloned genes. तो इसमें जो expression control किया जाता है, तो of course इसमें जो इसकी gene की transcription है, उसको control किया जाता है. और इसमें जो strong promoter है, इसकी बड़ी अहमियत है. मिसाल के तौर पे अगर हम एक ऐसी जीन यूज करें जिसका अपना ही प्रमोटर है या नेटिव प्रमोटर है तो सम टाइम होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म में वो भी एक्सप्रेस नहीं करता तो इस पर्पस के लिए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन को ऑप्टिमाइज करने के लिए कुछ प्रमोटर सेलेक्ट किए जाते हैं लाइक लैग प्रमोटर ट्रिप प्रमोटर एंड पीएल प्रमोटर फ्रॉम लैम्डा फेजेस दे हैव बीन यूज्ड टू ऑप्टिमाइज द एक्सप्रेशन of the foreign gene. Again, this diagram, it indicates the genetic map of an expression vector which is PSE420. Actually, this vector has been synthesized or constructed by a commercial company like in vitro gene and it contains restriction sites for cloning foreign DNA and then it also contains a very strong promoter like TRC. TRC that can control the expression of foreign DNA that is inserted between these cloning sites. And adjacent to this promoter, there is a lag operator. And then ST or shine delgarno sequences that will help to bind the messenger RNA after transcription with the ribosome. So shine delgarno sequence can also be synthesized. And then there are some terminators like T1, T2 that can terminate the expression of the foreign gene. And some selectable markers in the form of ampicillin resistance are also there. And there is a lac I gene that can encode lac repress. And of course, one of the important region, the origin of replication that will facilitate the independent replication of the expression vector into a suitable host organism.